Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, aka Loaded Wombat, and you are looking for 10 Nightbot commands for beginners. Well, maybe you were just looking for Nightbot commands, but you found this. Uh, if you're a moderator, hi, welcome. We got a lot of mod content for you on this channel. If you're a streamer, same thing to you. My goal of this video is to teach you, a beginner, how to set up some commands through Nightbot. Now, it's not how to set up your whole entire Nightbot and all that kind of stuff. Now, I might do that in the future, so make sure you subscribe, like all that good stuff. But I have prepared for you 10 different commands that uh, should help out your stream or the stream you moderate for. Before we jump in, if you are a newer streamer, make sure you guys check out today's sponsor of the video, Owned.TV, and more specifically, the recent product own.pro. This is an OBS plugin that fits right into OBS studio. So if that's what you use, this is perfect for you. Stream overlay, stream labels, Twitch alerts, live chatbot integration, Twitch chatbot, and copyright free music. Owned has been gracious enough to offer five free overlays if you try it out today. So make sure you guys go down in the description below, click that link and check out Owned Pro. Okay, so you're newer to Nightbot. All right, welcome, by the way, to the world of chat bots and all that kind of stuff. First things first, I wanna show you guys, uh, just get into Nightbot, it's on nightbot.tv, okay? And if you don't know that, then sorry, but figure it out. <laughs> you're gonna go over to commands and we're gonna spend most of our space in here. Uh, so one thing I would say is make sure you guys look through default commands because there might be some stuff within default commands that could help you out with Nightbot. Uh, that you might be looking for and, and that's kind of where you would find those okay the first command is a username command basically this command is used if you want someone's username to end up in a command two different ways to do this there's either putting their username into it or a username that they tag into the command so if you want to just put their username whoever types in the command you're going to use money sign uh parenthesis user parent close the parenthesis okay that's going to be how you set uh, if somebody types in the command, their username will be in that command. Now, if you want the person's name, if you want to go like the command and then somebody tags somebody, right? You're going to want to put money sign parenthesis to user parenthesis. Now, here's how this is going to look. So if we want to add a command, say we want to put, uh, I don't know, maybe we want to make a exclamation point. Hello. Okay. You know, whoever types this in, it says hello to them. Hi, money sign parentheses user money sign or, or <laughs> close parentheses sorry and we hit submit on that right so now we go over to our chatter box which is a beautiful channel you guys should definitely follow this channel so say we do exclamation point hello now it's gonna say hi loaded wombat or hi so and so whatever okay so it, it, it will actually grab the person's username and then put it in there now if you wanted to say like someone types in exclamation point hello space you know tag some user you're gonna just put two right there all right so now if we go over to my chatter box and I type in hello at Nightbot, it'll just say hi, Nightbot. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Uh, that's basically like how you like tag a user and whatnot. And we're going to use that coming up in a couple of commands. So make sure you guys stay tuned on that. The second command I have for you is a count command. Okay. So say we want to add a command for every single, um, every single time I blink. All right. <laughs> That's just a dumb one. We, we go exclamation point blink and we're gonna go Nick has blinked. We'll do that. And then we'll go money sign, boom, count, boom. Okay, Nick has blinked, boom, times. All right, I think that should work. Let's try that. We go exclamation point blink. Nick has blinked one time. So we type in exclamation point blink and it says Nick has blinked one time. I think it has a cooldown, but Nick has blinked two times. So it'll count up and keep going in that way. You know, the one thing I haven't found out with these count commands is how to reset it. So if you know how to reset it, please put that into the comments down below. That would help out like me and a lot of people. I haven't figured that out on Nightbot yet. And that's just probably me being stupid, but even Googling it hasn't worked. So please help me out. The third command that you would need is a lurk command. This is a very simple command to set up. All you're gonna do is go add command, go exclamation point lurk. You're gonna say money sign, parenthesis user, close parenthesis is now lurking or however you want to say that. Okay. And hit submit. I'm not going to hit submit because I don't want to use that command because I already have it on another one. Then people will be able to say exclamation point lurk. And it'll just say so-and-so is now lurking. People love lurk commands. I don't know why I don't get it, but they love it. Okay. <laughs> they just like to 
no like you to know when they're either lurking like just watching and not chatting or they're just not watching and have you tabbed kind of a thing the fourth command is a repeat command this is basically when somebody types it repeats what they say a lot of people want this to happen with emotes the only way to ha have this happen with your personal emotes in nightbot to repeat your emote the only way for this to happen is for you to gift a sub to nightbot because nightbot needs to be a subscriber in order to use your emotes then you can just type your emotes within this but also a lot of people use this for just repeating certain things like pog champ or whatever it is so let's do pog champ really quick okay so let's do it for pog champ right so let's say pog champ right you make the command just pog champ not exclamation point pog champ you just make it pog champ right and then you're gonna put the response as pog champ okay and let's just make let's just do this let's copy we'll put this a few times right just put it like that and then say we go over to our twitch chat now and someone types in pog champ right it's going to repeat that, which is really, really cool and really easy to do. Like I said, though, with your own emotes, Nightbot has to be subscribed. Now, a Prime sub command, what I do for this is for people on mobile to be able to subscribe on Prime. Or if people just want to find, you know, how to subscribe on Prime without clicking that button or whatever. I'll go like this. Uh, I'll do XPH point Prime. And then I say subscribe with Prime here. You know, you put this link here like this and then just replace the end of this with your name. And then if we go over here, you're going to see this on mine with a different chat bot. But if we go over here, XMH point prime, you're going to see it with stream elements, but that's okay. You'll click on this and it'll send them to this here. And then people on mobile should be able to subscribe with prime here. Up next is a weather lookup command. This is a very cool command because what people can do is they can type exclamation point weather and then they'll be able to look up the weather in their city. All they have to do is go exclamation point weather and then like their, their city or state or whatever and then or their zip code or whatever it is. And then they can basically look up the weather where they're at, which is really cool. So if you go over to our commands here, I'll just show you the ones that we, the one that we have. Ours is exclamation point weather lookup, which actually isn't the best way to do it. But so you go exclamation point weather lookup, money sign, parenthesis, weather, space, money sign, parenthesis, query, whatever that, or I don't know, query, I don't know. And then close parenthesis, close parenthesis. That's exactly what we're going to put in. So I'll type in weather lookup and then I'll go Glendale and then it'll show me the weather for Glendale. 70 degrees, perfect out here in California, baby, perfect. So that's the weather lookup command, super simple, super easy, uh, but something very cool for people to do in your chat. Up next is a socials command. This is something that will help you plug your socials on your stream, which is very, very important for you to grow on other platforms at the same time that you're growing Twitch and almost more important because that will drive more people to your Twitch. I, what I do is I go exclamation point socials and base, I type this exact thing in. I'll go Twitter and then it'll go to my Twitter and then I put a space Insta and then I'll put my Instagram, YouTube, and then I put my YouTube. So you want to make sure you put spaces at the end of these. You could even, what I've seen before too, is people will put like two slashes like that because what happens when this comes out, it'll look a lot better than if you just like put it all mashed together kind of a thing. It looks kind of weird. So that will kind of separate out the different links, which helps out a lot, okay? So when I actually type this in, I this is going to be on a different chatbot that you see it on mine because I use a different chatbot, but what you'll see is you go socials and boom. They're all kind of separated out. I think they could be a little bit better with the slashes, but they're at least separated out and people can tell what's different, the different things. If you're looking for how to change your title, uh, this is actually something that is in the default commands. You would come down here, make sure this is enabled. You'll go exclamation point title space, and then you type in whatever title you want. This also allows non-moderators to just check the title as well. The next command is a shout out command. And this is basically when somebody raids you or whatever, or you want to shout out a friend's channel. Uh, this is basically something that you can use for that. So what you'll do is go over to custom commands. You want to go over, add a new command, put exclamation point S O or like shout out, whatever you want to put. And then I'll put something like this. Be sure to follow money sign parenthesis to user close parenthesis at twitch.tv slash money sign parenthesis to user parenthesis. This basically does whatever, whoever you tag will, will come up on there. Okay. So this is a bit of how it looks. So if I go submit on that, you might see this come up with multiple chat bots in my mind, but no worries about that. So that will come up. That will come up for Nightbot there. Be sure to follow Lotowombat at twitch.tv slash Lotowombat. Cool. 
One thing I think is very cool is a welcome command as well. One thing that we use it for is I go exclamation point welcome and then I have a clip that has like a welcome song that we had recorded like a while back now. But it basically sends people directly to a welcome video where I sing a little welcome song. Something that you could do is go, uh, you know, exclamation point welcome and maybe you put welcome to the stream money sign slash to user slash. And basically what could happen is the moderators could exclamation point welcome space and then at somebody uh, and welcome them to the new stream or to the stream or not even a moderator but maybe somebody else that could be a kind of a cool way to welcome people to the stream or you could just go exclamation point welcome and then you could link a clip all you need to do to put a clip in there is just literally put the link of the clip in that message and just say like you know i don't know maybe it's just a clip of like a welcome song of your own or saying welcome to people and you just clip that and whatever you know now, what I want to leave you with is a way for you to check out some some of these types of things. What you're going to do is go to your Nightbot here. You're going to go down to the bottom left. You're going to go to Help Docs, okay? In here, you're going to be able to find a lot of the things that you need for your stream. So you're going to see things like custom variables. This is where I found out a lot of the things that I taught you today. Uh, it's something that you can check out, things that you haven't found here and all that kind of stuff, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed this video. You can always come over to my stream Monday through Friday at, on twitch.tv slash loadedwombat to ask any questions or to be thoroughly entertained. If you're also looking to check out some of the things that I do on stream, I don't just do tutorial content. I try to create an entertaining stream Monday through Friday uh, for about five hours. And if you want to see me do that, not only on Twitch, but on YouTube, you can go over to my second YouTube channel, which will also be in the in the description down below and see kind of what I do on stream on a daily basis. And hopefully I'm talking the talk and walking the walk from these tutorial videos over there, which I fail at a lot, but sometimes maybe succeed at. So thank you again. Like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. Appreciate your time. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye.